Jack Webb, known for his writing and acting, grew up in a modest home in Santa Monica, California. Born in 1920, he was raised by his mother after his father left the family. Webb's early life was marked by financial hardship, but he found solace in storytelling and performance. Radio dramas were a significant influence on him, sparking his interest in acting and writing. He attended Belmont High School and later studied at St. John's University in Minnesota, where he further honed his skills. Webb's time in the military during World War II also shaped his perspective, leading to his signature style of realistic and direct storytelling. His mother's work ethic and the discipline he learned in the military were key influences in his career. Webb did not have a formal mentor, but he was inspired by the works of other writers and actors of his time, which helped him develop his craft. His experiences laid the foundation for his later success in creating and starring in the iconic series Dragnet. Jack Webb, a writer known for his engaging stories, has left a mark on many readers. His works span various themes and genres, touching the hearts of a wide audience. Among his numerous creations, there's always one that stands out as a defining piece of his career. Which one do you think it is? Moreover, Jack Webb's stories often hold a special place in our hearts. Do you recall a moment linked to his work that you hold dear? We'd love to hear about your favorite memories or experiences related to Jack Webb. Share your stories in the comments, they mean a lot to us. Stay tuned, as we have many surprising, amusing, and touching facts about Jack Webb to share with you. Keep watching to discover more about this beloved writer. Jack Webb, the writer, found his passion for storytelling as a young boy during family gatherings. His relatives would share vivid stories of their past, and Jack was captivated by the power of words to paint pictures and evoke emotions. He would often be found scribbling stories in his notebook, trying to capture the essence of the tales he heard. One summer, his aunt noticed his interest and gave him an old typewriter. This gift was a turning point for Jack. He spent hours typing stories, feeling a thrill each time he heard the click of the keys. It was then he realized he wanted to spend his life sharing stories with the world. This early love for crafting narratives laid the foundation for his future career as a writer. Jack Webb was an actor and writer who made a significant mark in the entertainment industry. He is best known for his role as Sergeant Joe Friday in the television series Dragnet. Webb's work on Dragnet was pioneering for its realistic portrayal of police work and its introduction of semi-documentary narration to the genre. His dedication to authenticity and storytelling set a new standard for television dramas, influencing many future shows. Webb's legacy lies in his commitment to show the everyday heroism of police officers and his impact on television storytelling techniques. Jack Webb faced tough times when he started as a writer. Money was tight and people in the writing world doubted him. He stayed strong and kept writing, even when it was hard. Jack found smart ways to keep going, like using less expensive materials and finding friends who believed in his work. His hard work paid off and he became a successful writer. His story shows that with determination and smart thinking, you can get past hard times and reach your goals. Jack Webb, known for his role as Sergeant Joe Friday in Dragnet, found an opportunity to refine the show when Chesterfield Cigarettes funded a series that shared its time slot. The break came at a crucial time, allowing the team to regroup after the unexpected passing of actor Barton Yarbrough. In the show, the casting choice for the characters Reed and Mulloy raised questions. The decision to have Reed, the more traditionally attractive actor, play a married man limited the story's potential. In contrast, Mulloy, played by Kent McCord, remained single, which could have added more depth to his interactions with female characters. Jack Webb, who also created Dragnet, seemed to prefer this setup, although it might have overlooked the interests of a female audience. Later, Webb took on a significant role at Warner Brothers Television, but his time there was short-lived, lasting only eight months. Following his departure, William Conrad, a friend with a similar background, took over. Webb then moved his production work to Universal, continuing his career in television. Jack Webb's career saw a significant turn with the radio show Dragnet, which later became a television hit. His portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday brought a new level of realism to crime drama. The show's success led to more work in television and film, solidifying his place in entertainment. His peers admired his dedication to authentic storytelling, and critics praised his work for its attention to detail and its influence on the genre. Collaborators noted his ability to create engaging stories that connected with audiences, making Dragnet a model for future police dramas. 
Jack Webb brought the character Sergeant Joe Friday to life in the radio and television series Dragnet. The show, known for its realistic portrayal of police work, was influenced by the movie He Walked by Night, where Webb acted as a forensic chemist. The idea for Dragnet came from Los Angeles Police Department officer Marty Wynn, who suggested Webb create a show based on real LAPD cases. The radio series started in 1949 and became a hit. Julie London, known for her singing, was unexpectedly chosen to play nurse Dixie McCall in the television series Emergency, which Webb produced. She accepted the role with enthusiasm, working alongside her husband, Bobby Troop, who played Dr. Joe Hurley. In the 1967 version of Dragnet, Webb reprised his role as Sergeant Joe Friday. He was particular about introducing the setting and his character in each episode, ensuring new viewers could follow along. Interestingly, the show had a live orchestra play the opening music every week, highlighting the era's limited recording technology. This was evident when a musician strike led to an episode airing without the usual intro music. Webb's attention to detail and dedication to the show's authenticity made it a memorable part of television history. Jack Webb, a writer, approaches his work with a focus on real-life experiences. He believes in telling stories that reflect the everyday lives of people, often drawing from his own life to add depth to his characters. His writing style is straightforward and aims to connect with readers through shared human conditions and emotions. Webb's work often highlights the struggles and triumphs of ordinary people, making his stories relatable and engaging. His personal history and views on the world are evident in his narratives as he explores themes of resilience, community, and the importance of staying true to oneself. His unique approach lies in his ability to find extraordinary moments in the mundane, turning simple tales into powerful reflections on life. Jack Webb brought to life the character of Pete Kelly in the movie Pete Kelly's Blues, and his work didn't stop there. He went on to produce the television series Adam 12, where Martin Milner, who once supported Webb on screen, took on a leading role. Webb's personal life saw joys and sorrows. He was a father to Stacy and Lisa, his daughters with Julie London. Tragically, Stacy's life was cut short by a car accident. Webb's portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday in Dragnet left a lasting mark, with his famous opening line borrowed from the film He Walked by Night, where he also appeared as a crime scene investigator. His roles and work behind the scenes have left a memorable legacy in television history. Jack Webb, known for his work in television and radio, played a significant role in shaping realistic police dramas. His show Dragnet was groundbreaking for its time, introducing a level of realism in police shows not seen before. Webb's attention to detail and insistence on accurate portrayals of police work influenced many future TV shows and movies. Industry experts credit him with setting a new standard for the genre, and many later creators in television cite Dragnet as an inspiration for their approach to storytelling and character development. His work is seen as a foundation for the police procedural genre, and his influence is still felt in the industry today. Jack Webb's work in television left a lasting mark on the portrayal of law enforcement and emergency services. In the show Emergency, the character John Gage drew inspiration from real-life battalion chief Jim Page. Page's contributions to the firefighter paramedic program were significant, and although Webb wanted to honor him by naming the character after him, Page humbly declined. Years later, when Page passed away, actor Randolph Mantooth paid tribute to him at his memorial. Webb's portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday in Dragnet was grounded in reality, thanks to his friendship with Detective Golindo of the Los Angeles Police Department. Galindo's real-life investigations, including high-profile cases like the Black Dahlia and the Tate Labianca murders, influenced some of the show's episodes. Galindo's role as one of the first Hispanic officers in the LAPD added another layer of authenticity to the series. The production of Dragnet also had a unique connection to Walt Disney Studios. Webb struck a deal to fund the construction of live-action sets for Disney, which in turn allowed Dragnet to be filmed at the Burbank Studios. This collaboration helped create a realistic backdrop for the series, bringing the stories of Sergeant Joe Friday to life. Jack Webb, known for his writing, also dedicates time to support education for underprivileged children. He believes in giving back and often volunteers at local schools. His love for nature is evident in his work, as he frequently includes themes of environmental conservation. Webb also advocates for animal rights and has been involved in campaigns against animal cruelty. 
His personal interests, like his hobby of gardening, often reflect in his writing, bringing a touch of realism to his fictional worlds. Webb's commitment to social causes and his personal hobbies shape his writing, making his stories relatable and grounded in real-world issues. Jack Webb, known for his role as Sergeant Joe Friday in Dragnet, had a distinctive style. Unlike his co-star Cannon, who wore a standard white shirt, Webb's character opted for a see-through white shirt, making a bold statement on screen. This choice stood out, especially when he wasn't wearing a jacket. In another role as Joe Regas in Appointment with Danger, Webb worked alongside Harry Morgan. Their on-screen partnership as thugs led to a real-life friendship that lasted for years, eventually reuniting them in Dragnet. Webb's influence extended to the show Emergency, where his character officer Vince saw a shift from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department to a generic police department. This change came after a disagreement with the LASD, leading to the loss of rights to display their logos and imagery in the show. Jack Webb, known for his writing and creating engaging stories, has left a strong impression in the entertainment industry. His work has inspired many to pursue creative careers. Looking ahead, he aims to explore new storytelling methods and support upcoming writers. His advice for newcomers is to stay true to their unique style, keep learning, and be open to feedback. Persistence and dedication are key to success in this field. Always remember that every great writer started with a single word on a page. Keep writing no matter what. Jack Webb brought to life the character of Pete Kelly in the radio series Pete Kelly's Blues, which aired in 1951. The show was a summer hit and later turned into a television series by Webb himself. In a unique twist, the show connected his personal and professional life as Julie London, his former wife, joined the cast thanks to Webb's role as the producer. Webb also famously portrayed Sergeant Joe Friday in Dragnet. Despite the character's previous promotion, Webb chose to return Friday to his sergeant rank for the series revival, believing it suited the character's active role in investigations. Jack Webb's work as a writer showed his deep love for storytelling and his drive to bring new ideas to life. He worked hard and never gave up, which led to lasting changes in the entertainment field. His stories remind us that with imagination and determination, we can create our own paths and inspire others along the way. Jack Webb brought back Dragnet in 1966 as Sergeant Joe Friday to address the serious issue of drug use among young people. The show was a direct response to the rise in LSD use during that time. On another show, Emergency, Robert Fuller and Julie London joined the cast without having worked with Webb before. Fuller respected Webb despite not knowing him personally, while London had a long-standing friendship with Webb dating back to her high school days when he first saw her perform. Bobby Troop, also part of Emergency, was known for his long hair and ponytail, which he had to cut off at Webb's request for the series. Jack Webb's attention to detail was evident in every aspect of his work. The striking image of an arm etching the Roman numeral 7 into the name of his production company, Mark 7 Limited, is actually his own, symbolizing his personal touch. Webb's commitment to realism didn't stop there. He ensured that his shows, known for their accurate depiction of police work, served as educational tools in police academies. His influence extended to his cast as well before joining the cast of Emergency. In 1972, actors Bobby Troop, Tim Donnelly, Ron Pinkard, and Randolph Mantooth had all worked with Webb. They would go on to share the screen with Julie London, Webb's ex-wife and close friend, showcasing the strong professional relationships he built. Jack Webb's work has touched many lives through his storytelling and unique approach to writing. His stories have brought laughter, tears, and thought-provoking moments to audiences around the world. If you have enjoyed his work or have a story to share about how it has affected you, please share your thoughts in the comments. Your experiences enrich the conversation and honor his memory. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like button, share with friends, and subscribe for more content that celebrates the creative minds that entertain and inspire us every day. Your support helps keep the spirit of creativity alive. Thank you for watching and being part of this community.